A Washingtonian prisoner released from Iran tonight. His mother describes the moment she learned he's coming home. Crying and screaming. Really, really loud. I can't imagine. Just like a dream. The new hope for a family torn apart for the last three years. We are really looking forward to the future that the family can heal. Good evening, I'm Trace Leong in for Lindsay Sheldon. The Cairo 7's Joanna Small has been following this story since the news first broke. Joanna, you sat down with Shi Wei Wang's mother and their human rights attorney. I did, Trace. Now, this release has been a long and complex process. Since his 2016 arrest in Iran, Shi Wei has only been able to communicate with his family by phone and only rarely. But that is all about to change. Cry and the screaming. Really, really loud. I can't imagine. Just like a dream. Even now, unbelievable. That's how Kashu Lan describes the moment she learned her son was coming home and she could finally start to heal her broken heart. This is my only child. He's your only child. Yeah, that's why I'm, I have been through horrible, horrible three years. Flanked by her international human rights attorney, Alejandra Gonza, we had the privilege of sitting down with these two women yes. who fought so tirelessly to secure the release of 38 year old Shi Wei Wang. He was arrested in Tehran in 2016, charged with espionage. But Shi Wei is a student, a University of Washington alum, and a current Princeton scholar, studying for his PhD in history. In March, students at UW held a vigil for Shi Wei. The students were really touched by mm -hmm. this story because they, they felt that it was so unfair that this, is, this could have happened to them. And it's important to be able to travel. It's important to be able to research, to go and do field work. Yeah. Shi Wei spent three years in an Iranian prison for that field work. Here are the first photos of him on his way home. His first stop was Germany. His mother says his next step after his last stop on U.S. soil is advocacy. This morning called me. He especially mentioned this. We have, we're concerned about other people still in prison in Iran. And uh, we want to pass love to their families. Shi Wei has a wife and six-year-old son in New Jersey who have not seen him in three years. We don't know the details yet on when he will return to the U.S., but soon.